Rain and burn scars do not mix. Remember Montecito? Local leaders are putting out the warning. The same could happen here in Butte County. You've seen the uh, terrain here around town. Um, you know, it's lower foothills. Um, there's lots of embankments here. And this fire burned with such fury and with such anger, there's nothing holding the hillsides back. So when the rain comes, it's gonna be a mess, at the very least. You're gonna have debris in the roads. Um, it's gonna make a, a tough situation even more miserable. Here's why areas that burn in wildfires can face severe flood risks when it rains heavily soon afterward. During a wildfire, burning plants release gas, and that gas permeates the soil, causing the roots to weaken. The gas then cools and solidifies, forming a waxy layer at the surface. The rain, unable to soak into the ground, begins to saturate and weaken the topsoil above that waxy layer. As more rain falls, chunks of topsoil break loose and slide downhill. Rocks, trees, and mud flow freely and can at times exceed 35 miles per hour. A thick, water-resistant layer is left behind, one that can last for years based on the intensity of the fire. So resist the urge to see the damage for yourself. Heed the warnings. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. Um, this is real, and it's really unfortunate. So just be safe. For more information on debris flows and on this and many other disaster responses, go to oesnews.com. For information on the Camp, Woolsey, and Hill fires, go to wildfirerecovery.org. I'm Sean Boyd in Butte County, California for OES News.